getting set up for list building from scratch. In order to build a great email list asset from scratch that has the potential to make you a lot of money, you need to be set up properly to do this. These days, it is very easy to put everything in place that you need to do this. 1. Choose your niche. If you have not decided what niche you want to be in for your email marketing, then you need to make this decision first. For those of you that already know what niche you want to be in, you can skip this step. There are literally thousands of niches that you can choose from. If you are passionate about a particular niche, then you could go for this. But you want to ensure that there is sufficient demand and that there is money in the niche you choose. The top three niches that are evergreen, the demand rarely changes and nor does the subject matter, include Number one, making money. Number two, health and fitness. Number three, personal development. There will always be a high demand for information in these niches. They are also very competitive though. You should always test out your niche ideas to ensure that the demand is there and that there is money being spent in the niche. Keyword research is very important. You need to know what terms your niche audience is using in the search engines to find answers to their questions in a niche. Google provides a very good free tool called the Google Keyword Planner, GKP. When you use this, not only will you be able to identify the keyword terms people are using, but you will also see the search volume. A simple way to test if there is money being spent in a niche is to search for it in Google or one of the other major search engines like Bing. If you see pay-per-click PPC ads displayed in the search results, this is a good indicator that people are spending money in the niche. Advertisers are not going to spend money if this is not the case. 2. Your own website Although it is possible to build a list from scratch without a website, we strongly recommend that you get one if you don't currently have one. There are free blogging platforms around that you could use such as WordPress.com, Weebly.com, and Blogger.com, but you will not be in control here. At any time, and for any reason, your free blog or website can just disappear. Imagine how you will feel if this happens. You spend a great deal of time developing your free site only to find that it is nowhere to be seen. This can happen, and it does happen. Another reason not to use a free website platform is because it screams cheap. You want to make money from your email marketing efforts, don't you? Why should people purchase anything from you if you cannot afford to register your own domain name and pay a small amount for web hosting each month? People can tell that you are using a free website. They will get the impression that you are not taking digital marketing seriously. For the sake of a few bucks a month, it really isn't worth it to go down the free route. You can register a good domain name for around $10 a year. Web hosting is a very competitive market, and as a result, the prices are low. For around $10 to $15 per month, you can get some really good web hosting. The money that you will need to spend to set up and maintain your own website is of secondary importance here. You need to project the right image, and when you have your own website, you can do this. 3. Autoresponder Service a good autoresponder service will allow you to set up and send out sequences of emails automatically. In addition to this, you will be able to use the broadcast feature to send emails to your subscribers anytime that you want. We recommend that you use a high-quality email autoresponder, such as those provided by Aweber.com and GetResponse.com. It will cost you around $20 a month to get started, and you will need to pay as your email list grows. The advantage of using an autoresponder service from Aweber or GetResponse is that they have been around for a long time and their deliverability rates are high. This means that there is a very high probability that every email you send out will end up in the inbox of your email subscribers. If your subscribers do not receive your emails, you will not make a cent. These days, there are a lot of offers for autoresponder services where there is only a one-off payment required and no monthly fees. You may think that this is a good idea, but most of the time it isn't. In order to use these autoresponders, you will need an SMTP provider to send your emails. This can work out more expensive than using Aweber or GetResponse. There are other autoresponder services that you can choose from, such as MailChimp, Constant Contact, and ConvertKit. All of these alternative services have their advantages and disadvantages. Compare them and see what service best meets your needs. 4. Landing Pages you will need to create landing pages or squeeze pages to convince people that they will benefit from joining your email list. Sometimes these are called squeeze pages. The bottom line here is that you need pages that let your visitors know why they need to provide their name and email address to you and receive emails from you. It is not difficult to create landing pages, but you need to get it right. 
We have dedicated an entire video on this in this training because it is so important. Email autoresponder services such as AWeber and GetResponse have landing page builders that you can use to create your pages. There's other software available to do this as well. If you have a WordPress website, then there are themes and plugins that you can use to create your squeeze pages and landing pages. There are some free ones, but the paid ones such as Optimize Press and InstaBuilder tend to be better. There are also services that you can pay a monthly subscription for, such as ClickFunnels and Lead Pages. Five, an enticing incentive. Just telling visitors to your website to join your email list is not going to cut it. Most people are reluctant to just give out their email address these days because they know that they will receive promotional email messages. Think about obtaining email addresses for your email list like selling a product. You need to provide something valuable in exchange for that email address. By offering a valuable incentive in exchange for an email address, your visitors will feel that they are getting a good deal. In the next video, we will discuss landing pages and lead magnets, incentives, in more detail. For now, you need to know that an incentive can be in the form of a valuable document, usually provided in PDF format, a video that reveals a secret, for example, audio files in MP3 format, and so on. 6. Pre-written emails This is optional, but highly recommended. You need to think about what emails you are going to send out to your new subscribers. We recommend that you plan this in advance and have these loaded up in your autoresponder ready to go as soon as your visitors become subscribers. What are you going to include in your email messages? Focus on providing value to your email subscribers. Find out what your target audience wants and give it to them. In all niches, there will be burning questions that people want answers to. Use these as the basis of your pre-written emails. You need to get the balance right here. Obviously, you do not want to give all of your secrets away. These are only available to people willing to pay for them, but you want to provide some value and prove to your subscribers that you know what you are talking about. If you don't send emails to your subscribers regularly, then they will forget about you. We're not suggesting that you bombard your subscribers with a ton of promotional emails every day. This is the fastest way to get them to unsubscribe from your list. But you need to keep in touch with your subscribers regularly. You should do this at least once a week. You will need a mixture of autoresponder messages, those that you plan and write in advance, and messages that you send as a broadcast. A broadcast message could be about a new post that you have published on your blog or a new video on your YouTube channel, for example. Often, you will not plan a broadcast message. Something changes, and you need to tell your email subscribers about it right away. For example, you may come across a new product or service that you know will help your email subscribers. 7. Don't buy an email list. There are many list brokers out there that will sell you an email list of thousands of people that are interested in your niche. If you can just buy a list, why would you want to create one from scratch? It may seem very tempting to just purchase an email list and not have to put in the time and effort to create one yourself, but it is never a good idea to do this. When you purchase a list and start to send emails out, the people that receive your emails have no idea who you are. They are very unlikely to open your emails and will probably mark your emails as spam so that they will never appear in their inbox again. When you build your email list from scratch, you know that the people on your list agreed to receive emails from you and that what you are doing is totally legal and ethical. In the next video, we will discuss how to create squeeze pages for the highest conversions.